Yeah, this is so hard to hear. God's playing as you, through you. There's no you. <laughs> this sounds like a bunch of nonsense. <clears throat> if all there is is the infinite, which that's all there is, then it must be that it's the infinite that's doing and experiencing everything. See, if there's only the infinite, the infinite can't experience, have an experience, unless it dreams itself into a particular kind of individual autonomous form. Because otherwise, if it's just the infinite, how is it going to like experience itself? Like, it's, it's, Where's the experience? Experience, there needs to be some contrast, some duality, hence this whole this whole show of duality. And so, appreciate duality. All the non-duals. If there's only non-dual, then you don't even, you're not even here to say there's non-dual. It has to be the duality. Now, where it gets a little messy, though, is when uh, we're, we're, we're in a struggling state. We're, we're not feeling good. Because then uh, somebody says, look, that's God playing as you not feeling good. What, are you going to feel better? No, you probably feel worse. So God has to do that. Just as the infinite needs to create something finite to, to experience the infinite, that, that principle right there, this contrast, gets trickled down and applies to everything else. The language of opposites, it's duality. To feel good, I need to know what it feels like to feel bad. To experience transcendence, I need to have to be a slave to a certain problem or issue or addiction, etc. Otherwise, I can't taste transcendence. So then the mind will say, <clears throat> if you're really going through it, yeah, man, but like how long? What's the duration? The right. I gotta keep feeling bad. You see, that's a lesson in itself to somehow. That's the training. You somehow have to do the impossible. Of course, you can't do it, but something surrenders, and then intuitively, you might find the power to do the so called impossible, which is to be okay not being okay. Don't put a time limit on it. The mind keeps wanting to, yeah, but I need the technique. I need something to, like, I wanna feel better. Like, how do I do this? That's the problem, though. That one that's trying to do this and wants to feel better right now, it's adding length to the duration of not feeling good because it's creating more stress. You do what you can do, remember, balance. You do what you can do if you have certain health issues. Go see my, <clears throat> my channel, Transcending Shadows, and I talk more on practical level about diet, about uh, shadow work, about having a sensitive nervous system, etc. Yeah, there's practical things. Being out here in nature is better than being in some, you know, environment where people are just gossiping and talking nonsense to each other. For example, this is a good lifestyle habit of being in nature, eating good food. These are good habits. That raises the vibration to where then you, you don't feel the karmic pain of life's lessons so deeply. So that's, that's called doing what you can do on a practical level. But it doesn't cure it. Some things it does, but not everything. Sometimes the lesson is you have to experience. You have to go through this um, hard knock. You have to go through this trying situation. Because going through it releases, you can say, the spiritual vitamins that you need that is going to help... Uh, give you access to your true nature later like you have to like you're going through the grinder remember I talked about the cosmic mulcher you're getting mulched it's like if you <laughs> if you put yourself in a juice machine right for the juicers juicers out there I got deep into that in the past I was a liquid area because I did I do everything extreme you know? then I realized oh man I'm <clears throat> it's not good for you neurologically to do that too long so it's like you put yourself in the spiritual juicer because if you if you put you know you put the vegetables in the juicer and then it gets rid of all the the, the fiber and the peelings and all you're left with is like the good stuff same thing life is putting you through the spiritual juicer the 
mulcher. So it's grinding up all this, all these things that don't belong there, ego and identity and this and that, and you're just getting rid of all that. So then <clears throat> what's left is, um, you can say your, 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 your pure nature. Still, the pure nature is housed in the form so that there can be some realization in your pure nature. You see, you, you have to have a form, otherwise if it's just pure nature, like where you don't know your pure nature. It needs to be in a, in a form that's not so pure so that then you can find the purity. So everything's mathematically perfectly set up. It just doesn't feel like that when you're going through that. So God's playing this, this role, he's doing this. But in the end, you realize, you say, well, damn, nothing really ever suffered or woke up. It's, it's while we're here in this form that it looks very real because this is the ultimate high-level 3D game. Um, I don't know any names of <laughs> computer programmers. I don't know. Is Bill Gates a computer programmer? Whoever the best, best computer programmer is, <laughs> they ain't got nothing on the cosmic programmers that made this game so this stuff looks real it looks like there's somebody that's like trying to wake up and I'm trying to burn through my karma and then it looks like when we come into some kind of uh, clear scene in inner space it looks like whoa I'm waking up now I'm, I'm like damn I'm like super awake maybe remember that video I made are you are you super duper enlightened like which level of enlightenment are you? Kind of a regular enlightened or super enlightened or super duper enlightened? <laughs> Making fun of the mind. So don't claim either one. Don't claim, oh man, I'm not like awake right now. This sucks, I'm trying to get awake. But also don't claim like, oh, I'm awake. Gotta make my non do oh, real time enlightenment. Where's my video? Where's my camera? No, but at the same time <coughs> don't dismiss you see balance only intuitively can you understand this balance <clears throat> if you try to understand with the mind it doesn't understand it only understands black and white nothing exists that's it yeah but but some things exist no nothing exists or you have the people super identified with form that don't even know what you're talking about when the, when somebody's pointing to the non-existent uh, principle Right? Because they think every, everything exists. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, what was I saying? Cooperate. Cooperate with this whole non-dual, dualistic show. <clears throat> when you're feeling um, caught up, don't deny that. You're just, okay, I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm feeling caught up right now. This sucks. Is there anything I can do? Can I call somebody? Somebody who maybe, you know, that can help break this self-absorption right now and kind of give me access to a higher part of my being that I know is there. I just can't seem to access it right now. Or maybe go to a 12-step meeting. Man, 12-step meetings, the, the, not the meeting itself, but the 12-step program, man, that's super high level. Because you're dealing with both, both practical and spiritual aspect at the same time. You're doing the inventory and you're looking at yourself, you're calling yourself out, you're seeing what your defects of character are, and then you also have the step three and 11. Turning your will and life over to the supreme, having to improve in this conscious contact, this constant fusion of the body, mind, self with the spirit. It's both. That's what's missing in a lot of spiritual practices. It's just all spirit, like so-called spiritual, meditation, non-dual. They're, they're neglecting the practical aspect. It's not balanced. So cooperate, cooperate when you're, what does it mean cooperate? Accept, accept how the human being, human construct is, whatever its experience is, accept that. Oh, this sucks, okay, it's cool, it's gonna pass, but accept that. See, is there anything you can do to help, you know, <laughs> remedy that? Also, when you're starting to come into a, a, a deeper realization of your nature, accept that too. Don't claim it, don't identify with it, and start, you know, trying to tell others about it. Nor don't say, oh no, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't like appreciate this um, awakening though. 
because it doesn't really exist and oh that's ego no this is the experience now that the consciousness is having th having through this uh, human construct like it, it's experiencing like oh this feels free whoa I'm, this feels like my true nature this is why I like San Pedro cactus <laughs> that's that's why <clears throat> I used to do that I did it too much I haven't done it for some years now because like that season's over but I mean, I would if some, you know, there needs to be a real situation though. But before I, I used to do it like all the time because it just quieted everything down. And I'm like, damn it, this is what I am. This is finally, like, this is what I am. Why the hell is it so hard, you know, to experience this more? I remember the first time I did it, I was at a retreat center in Peru. After a few hours, I was just chilling in my hammock, in my room. And then the the worker or the I mean the manager of the she came by to check on me she says how you doing I said I feel like every human being should feel she says okay I know what you're saying I said yep <laughs> but it's not a shortcut <clears throat> I mean it's not a loophole I thought it was I was like I found the loophole this is easy I don't have to do the work just take take a little medicine like let it do the work yeah it doesn't work like that but appreciate when you when you're in this natural state that you you intuitively know is your natural state because here is the pitfall you, you you're in a state of inner balance the ego can come in and try to use that to go do things <clears throat> that aren't really aligned with your true nature but you'll justify and say, well, I feel so good now. I, I can kind of get away with that. I can kind of play in the dirt a little bit. What's the big deal? I'm in my power now. Yeah, and then you're going to lose your power. That's next level. That's the next level. That took a while. I'd be, I'd be in, a, in a, a nice state, and then I'd so-called piss it away by doing things that, like, aren't aligned. Doing, doing like, behaviors that I, I know I shouldn't do. So when you're in, when you're in a, a more pure state of yourself, acknowledge that, revere that, and take care of it. Take care of it, like protect it, uh, if you want to use that word. Don't do things that's going to like eclipse it. This is a process though. We have to learn this stuff through living wisdom and experience. <clears throat> Talking about it like this helps, especially if you're open, it accelerates it. So God uses videos and and people to speak to help God while it's in form you know this is all a big movie show it's easy to say that when we're not you know in the grinder or juice machine so I understand but still something in you knows it's still a movie show even when you're in the juice machine <clears throat> there you go see you